So we're over here at uh, Lakeside Park, the Rose Gardens. You know the roses aren't out yet, but it's a beautiful day. And as I'm playing with Jedediah here, playing Lava Monster and all the other games, I just think of all the beautiful parks in Fort Wayne. I don't think there's a city with so many parks. Why are we building parks if we're going to kill children, right? Where's the customers at that point? We spend millions on parks and recreation in Fort Wayne, but yet the same party that would advocate for abortion spends all the money on the parks. That's a little counterintuitive, wouldn't you say, Jed? Yeah. Some may say that that verse I quoted earlier from Leviticus would be like your Old Testament way of looking at abortion. Like today under grace or this new dispensation, there's a new special grace that applies and that we're not so serious anymore about these sins. To believe that would not only be biblically illiterate, but it wouldn't really add up. In the Old Testament, right, we don't have a church. We don't have a body of Christ, if you will, who are called and commissioned to preach the gospel to the ends of the earth, right? So you just have a nation of people. And so the Levites are writing these laws for the nation and the people of the nation. So if you want to say that that verse is Old Testament, well, I would agree. It's for everybody, not just the church. So that scripture is very clear that we are not allowed the luxury of neutrality on abortion. And so if, if the citizens are not allowed neutrality, what would that mean for the church? Right in, this, in the New Covenant, it does talk about um, he who knows what he should do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. The Old and the New Testament are just the same story. There's no, nowhere in, in the testimony of God is there a, <laughs> is there like this stop point where you could just ignore those things and then move forward. We know that Christ himself is coming back as a warrior. He's not coming back as a lamb. So even in that regard, the Old Testament, uh, Jesus came as a Passover lamb. He came as a spotless lamb to shed his blood for Israel in the Passover. In the New Testament, okay, particularly the book of Revelation, he comes back as a warrior, and he's coming to destroy the wicked. And so, I, uh, I just wanted to share that that oh, verse from Leviticus, bud. oh, I love you too, bud. You see, kids are a blessing from the Lord. They're our heritage. And, uh. wow, he's got a stick. I'm glad I got eye protection here. <laughs> so, guys, uh, just keep shouting out the truth. Pray fast. Call your congressman. Call your city council. Ah, you know, you got to be like Jed. You got to, the squeaky wheel gets the oil, right? We can't just sit around in our prayer circles all day long and think abortion's going to end or that Fort Wayne's going to get better. We got to, you know, take a stick and tap somebody on the head, right? Get their attention. Hey. All right. Take care.